The reason that you're out of alignment is because you are allowing your external world to affect your internal state. Now, this is a paradox because our internal state, our internal reality is actually what manifests and creates our external reality. But yet we're allowing our external reality affect our internal state because of our internal belief system. So what's going on here? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rahosa, and if this is the first time that you're seeing my face, then <laughs> welcome. It's so nice to have you. Now, what is happening when our external reality, something that's happening in our 3D physical world, something that we do not like, something that is causing us to be out of alignment when something outside of us is happening, that is basically a message and a push from life, from the universe, from our higher selves, it is teaching us that there is something internal that we need to change. There is something internal that created this to happen. Now, just because we created something in our physical reality, that doesn't mean that we're doing anything wrong, okay? That doesn't mean that the universe is out to get us. It doesn't have to mean that life is out to get us, that we need to blame ourselves now because, you know, we've been trying so hard to manifest, but it's not coming into fruition and our external re reality is out of alignment because of us and something that we did. No, we don't need to play the blaming game with ourselves. We don't need to step into guilt, into shame, into just shaming ourselves, honestly, for something that Honestly, we can completely reframe the way that we view the reality that we're creating. Now, the truth is, and Kabbalah speaks about this concept, which is something called tikkun, or we can call it our baggage. And, you know, humans come into this life with set baggage. Everyone has different baggage that we come into this world with, and this baggage is kind of like just things that we need to work on, all right? I believe that our souls on a higher realm came down into this earth knowing the tests that we were going to have to go through, the challenges that we were going to have to experience in this life. We have different things that we need to correct in different areas and it's different for all of us, right? So where you may have blockages and problems and a harder time with manifesting things to do with love, I may have a harder time in things like finances and money or, you know, or weight loss or like whatever the thing is, we each have things in different areas to different degrees and different, different baggage, different corrections that we all have. That's why it's really, we can't compare ourselves and where we are on our journey to other people's journeys. We can only compare ourselves to where we were because we are all on our own soul's unique process and journey of healing these things things, overcoming them and creating a new reality. But what happens when we're trying to create a new reality and we're not seeing the reality that we desire being reflected back to us, what that's doing is it's like a nudge from the universe saying, all right, this is an area that you need to work on. So we need to view it in a, a more positive way by thinking like, okay, bless, like universe, Thank you for pointing out to me that my internal world, there is something out of alignment here. When something is not going right in our external, it's because there's something out of alignment internally. Again, this is not to beat ourselves up. This is a part of our soul's correction. We want to be able to break through this blockage so that we can deal with it so we don't need to go through the same challenge again. So, you know, I know a lot of people get really discouraged when you're trying to manifest something, you're trying to be in alignment with your highest path, with your highest self, and you're not seeing the desired results that you want to see manifested in your life. You're not seeing it there yet. And then I always bring myself back to this truth, which is to realize this is not a punishment from the universe. Okay, let's view it as it is but it is showing us exactly what limiting beliefs we have, showing us exactly what we need to work on, what we need to overcome in order to change our life. As soon as we can take responsibility that whatever is in our external reality we created, that's when we can also take responsibility that we can change it. That doesn't mean it's gonna be an easy process that's called baggage for a reason, it's called tikkun for a reason, but our external world is the perfect way for us to clearly see. It's the perfect way for the universe to nudge at us and say, hey, this is what you gotta work on. If you wanna see a different result in your reality, you need to change what's going on up here. As soon as we can realize that our external is a manifestation of our internal, we take our power back, we become the creator of our lives rather than the victim of our lives, and we are then able to get ourselves back into alignment. Now, if you're feeling like you're in a rut right now, like you're out of alignment, like you need to get yourself back on track, then I created a masterclass that I'm going to be hosting live on December 1st, which I'm going to link in the description down below. If you're watching this video after December 1st, 2022, then I'm going to leave the replay link in the description down below that you can watch for free. 
in this masterclass, I'm going to be talking about the process that I personally use to get myself out of a rut, back into alignment, and all that. So you're definitely going to want to check that out in the description down below. But that's all for me in this video, guys. I hope you got value out of it. If you did, please leave it a like and a comment down below letting me know what was the most valuable thing you got out of this video. Hit that subscribe button for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you.